um, what some parents and also 889,000 candidates will be looking forward to as they anxiously wait their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examinations or KCPE results that will be announced tomorrow at Ntihani House. But unlike the past ranking system of top students in schools, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimeni is expected to unveil a reviewed grading system after the ranking system was abolished last month. System has been abolished. In 2006, the then Minister for Education, Professor George Saitoti, also abolished ranking of candidates in schools. However, it was never implemented. The focus now shifts on Professor Jacob Kaimeni to see if he goes through with the new ban that was enforced last month. <laughs> Professor Jacob Kaimeni is expected to give the new structure of identifying who will be transitioning to high school come February 2015. The new rule has elicited mixed reactions, however it was put in place to try and eliminate what seems to be unhealthy competition between teachers, schools and candidates. And rather than have candidates cram and pass to be the best, the new rule hopes that once competition has been eliminated, candidates can truly learn and understand what they're being taught. The ban was recommended by an education task force chaired by the former education assistant minister Kilemi Mwiria, which suggested that the ranking system should not be based on performance in national examinations alone. After the results are announced at Mintihani House on Monday, education officials say Form 1 selection will be determined by a quarter system, affirmative action and school choices, giving public schools advantage over private schools. The Education Cabinet Secretary has a lot on his plate. He must also deal with a looming nationwide teacher strike set to begin on Monday, the 5th of January. Catherine Omwando, KTN.